and hi it's jennifer from soul source tarot and i am here to do the daily vibes for around the 19th right around the 19th okay so let's see what comes i decided to use my favorite deck today i don't know why but it is what it is right so keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you what do we have for a message today today page of cups first card out let's get the rest of the cards let's see what other cards are on the table before we start talking four of pentacles fool fool so the fool is a fresh start starting over taking a risk queen of wands all four of them are upright High Priestess. Somebody's about to take action. They're about to express their feelings. They're about to follow their heart. They're going to be holding on to something. They want to hold on to something. Their gut, their intuition is telling them to do so. They got this new vision. They're about to take a big, huge risk. This is a big risk. Chariot reversed. Wheel of Fortune. Destined change. It's destiny. It's meant to be. Uh, okay, so expression. A welcome message of love is coming. An invite, an offer, uh, expression of feelings. You know, with that page of cups, that's, that's like expressing feelings, making an offer, or extending, you know, words of love, flirting, something like that. The Page of Cups is a welcome message of love. It's something um, loving, kind, gentle words, maybe compassion. Fool is taking a risk. So I think that we have somebody here that is about to take a big risk. They're going to follow their heart. Um, they're going to be taking action. They got this strong desire to do so. I feel like we have somebody here that is looking at somebody that is very spiritual or their intuition is telling them that this is part of the script. This is what they need to do. Um, the chariot reversed is a lack of restraint or things are out of control. There's the chariot reverse is, is, is like a stop of some sort but the wheel of fortune is movement so there's going to be some positive movement after there's probably been something that came to a stop it came to a halt okay it came to a halt but now there's going to be some movement positive change i mean the wheel of fortune is uh, the wheel of fate spinning somebody in a new direction after there's been some sort of delay with that chariot reverse that is that is uh, emotions all over the place we've had somebody here who hasn't been able to master their emotions you know things came to a stop you know but there, that now there's going to be a positive change um High Priestess. High Priestess is very intuitive, very, very spiritual, um, taking time to reflect. Somebody's been, been um, reflecting. They've been reflecting on their path, reflecting on their security, reflecting on their stability, because above it is the Four of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is now very focused. They want to hold on. They want to hold on to something. They want something stable. They want something solid. They want something secure. There is some sort of, I don't know, the high priestess is typically somebody that is very, very gifted, could be a healer, um, a spiritual healer. I feel like we have a sudden desire. There's a sudden desire here to hold on to something that is solid and secure. Mm 
Six of Cups reversed. Nothing stays the same. Somebody's past. Somebody's been clinging to the past. They've been clinging. That's what the delay. That's why there's been a delay. Because right next to the chariot reversed. Somebody's been clinging to the past. They've been reluctant to move on. Now six is in reverse is stuck, right? It's stuck in a in a place in the past with the chariot reverse, stuck in the past. Somebody has been stuck in the past. They've let the past stop them. The past memories, the past experiences have stopped them from success. The chariot reverse is no success because somebody has, has lost their discipline or their determination or they haven't taken control, but things are about to change. Wheel of Fortune is, is a destined change of course. That chapter of the past is over, right? The past is over, it's done. It's done, it's done, it's done. Somebody may be getting some sort of intuitive messages that is giving them this new vision, you know? This is like an intuitive nudge that, you know, the past is dead. Past is the past, right? Knight of Wands, act now, think later. There is some going to be an approach. Somebody is going to be making an approach. There could even be an arrival here. This is somebody that is definitely taking action. They're moving very, very fast. They're, they're, this is somebody that is very fearless, very strong, very confident. We have a very, it's like a newfound confidence, right? Taking a risk. That fool is taking a risk. It is, it is. It's like leaving it all behind. Driven by the heart. There's a song that keeps wanting to come up. Oh. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to keep it to myself. That's what the high priestess does, right? She keeps it to herself. She holds it in. We have the high priestess with that four of swords or four of pentacles right behind. So that's holding something in, guarding, guarding. Looks like somebody's guarding their heart. Take a look at that. That's exactly what that is. Woo! So, uh, hmm. <clears throat> protecting, protecting. But we do have a protector here. We have somebody here that is trying to protect their heart. This is risky. It's extremely risky. It is very risky. Uh, the fool is risk. It's risk. Taking a risk. Replacing that fear with faith. And the chariot reversed is no faith. There's a need to have faith. There's a need to have trust. Somebody needs to have trust. They need to have trust in new beginnings with that Wheel of Fortune card. Hmm. Somebody is going to be approached. They're going to be approached. I don't know if it's approached, but it could even be a secret admirer. It doesn't have to be with the Page of Cups. This is this is a very... Whoever is making the approach is doing it from the heart. Straight from the heart. Starting from scratch, starting over, making a proposal of some sort. Somebody's also been clinging to the past with an individual that kept a lot of secrets. They've been reluctant to move on from this person because of the memories. 
and they've been guarding their heart because of this person probably hoping for a reconciliation. But that chapter is over with the Wheel of Fortune, right? That chapter is over. That cycle is over. It's time to go in a new direction. So this is a positive change, of course. That cycle, that chapter is over. Justice. Justice is a card of getting what you deserve. It's a rebalancing of the scales. Everything turning out as it should, making a fair and just decision. Somebody's going to be making a decision. There is karma here too. Destiny. Destined. You know, I, it's interesting. There's destiny. Something is, some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Somebody's about to reveal the truth. The high priestess is, somebody's been holding back. They've been holding back. They have. They've been holding back. because of fear oh the knight of wands again now this is a this is a fighter okay the knight of wands is somebody that is fierce this is somebody that fights for what they want somebody that is not scared that is willing to fight so i do believe this this is kind of like very passionate somebody is going to be acting they're taking action somebody's about to take action get prepared for an arrival or something like that driven driven extremely driven we have somebody here that has this desire strong desire it's a very this is a strong desire this is a warrior of some sort this person has a strong desire to get what they deserve and they've been intuitively guided to open their heart and follow their heart and take this risk and they have been delaying themselves because of memories of the past may even have something to do with children you know they're worried about what their children are going to say or how their children are going to take it or they may be in a contract with somebody already you know because this justice is a contract but uh because it was because of a contract from the past <laughs> Positive change right around the corner, going in a new direction. This is fate. The Wheel of Fortune is fate. It's meant to be. This, this is meant to be. Stop clinging to the past. Go after what you deserve. Follow your gut. Stop holding on just for the security of whatever it is that you're holding on to. Stop protecting yourself by staying put. Maybe it's just self-protection, guarding your heart, or staying just for the money. Could go either way. Staying just for security reasons, whether it's financial security or inner security. It's time to tap outside of your comfort zone into that new territory. And I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely going to do it. Okay, I do think they're going to do it because this is very action-oriented. There's no stopping. There's no stopping now. We have an approach. We definitely have an approach. Somebody's about to make an approach or make an offer. You know, it's some sort of proposal or expressing feelings, something like that. There's definitely an attraction here as well, a strong attraction. Right? Three of Swords. Three of Swords is grieving, heartache, suffering. Somebody is suffering right now. They're suffering. They're suffering. They're going through a period of growth and it hurts. This is this is painful. It's like painful growth. Learning a hard lesson. Somebody has been suffering. 
choosing to suffer. You know, and, and we don't always choose to suffer. But when you cling to the past, that's your choice. That is your choice. You got to move on. It's time to move on. It's time to go. It's a time of transition. This is transition. This is a rite of passage. This is going. It's going. It's leaving it behind. Somebody is leaving something behind. They may, and I know I say this all the time, but this could be moving. It is moving on. It's moving on. It's it's leaving the troubled waters behind, leaving the past behind, going in, going towards peace and harmony, going to a better place. Taking a risk, stepping into unknown territory, just doing it, being guided, being guided to do it, being guided, making a decision. Nothing stays the same. Positive change, the wheel of life spinning somebody in a new direction. After there's been some heartache, heart pain, suffering, Perhaps it's perhaps it's time to talk or you know it's time to deal with the pain. Maybe we have somebody here that has uh, been holding back, you know, they've been keeping quiet. They haven't been communicating. They've been keeping to themselves. You know, it's time to heal. It's time to heal. It's time to communicate. It's time to heal. Heal, talk, talk, talk. Talk. There's some sort of robbing of innocence here as well. Just saying. Six of Cups reversed. Which may have stopped somebody from opening up, you know. There is, there is uh, holding back, you know, protection. I do see protecting with that four of... Four of um, Pentacles. That's like very protective, protecting myself. Now the the High Priestess is usually chooses to be single, chooses to focus on spirituality, chose chooses to go within to. Uh, well, it looks like self protect in these cards, but anyhow. <clears throat> The high priestess is typically very self-sufficient and independent and chooses to be single because she sees all. It's, she sees all. She's so observant. She's, she obviously has been hurt really, really badly by this Three of Swords. But anyhow, it is time to move on. It is time to move on. It is definitely time to move on. Move on from the past. Let go of the past. Stop stop holding on to the past. Open your heart. Page of Cups. Expression of love. Flirting. Communicating. Messages of love. A message of love. We have a protector here as well. So I don't know who this protector is. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords, I mean, four, I keep on saying Four of Swords, I think I've said it a couple times now, Four of Swords is the death of a situation, could be the end of loneliness, anyhow, we have a protector here that is about to take action, this person, um, obviously sees an opportunity that they want to hold on to, Maybe it's a spiritual connection. It is. And the fool is a new spiritual journey. This is starting a new spiritual journey. Somebody's intuition is also talking to them. They're receiving messages, you know, that it's time to go. It's time to go on this new journey. Leave it all behind. Leave it all behind. Just go. Take the experiences, but go, go, go. Just do it. Just go.
leaving that heartache and heart pain and suffering behind because I put the three of swords right before the wheel of fortune going in a new direction moving somebody's maybe moving hmm receiving the message receiving the message this is this is that that it's time it's time maybe it's time to start a new contract cuz justice is about contract ace of pentacles this is a new investment investing in something solid stable real this is a gift a golden opportunity going down a new path that leads to permanent something permanent something long term this is like a gift receiving a gift somebody is receiving a gift a gift of stability a gift of security this is this, whatever this gift is it's something you can take to the bank it's something that will last Somebody is receiving a golden opportunity. It will require you to walk down that path and grab onto it, though. You have to take those steps to get it. This is huge. It's beautiful. It's something you asked for. This is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something solid, real, stable that can last. It's huge. This is this is something big. It's a, it's something you should invest in. It's something that can be lead to permanent stability. A welcome message is coming. This is uh, an opportunity. This message is going to give you an opportunity to step into unknown territory. This will require you to replace your fear with faith because that's what the fool does. You need to you need to be strong. You need to have courage. You need to listen to your gut. You need to be honest with yourself. You need to stop clinging to the past, pain, hurt, heartache, and move in that new direction. Because if you do, the wheel of fortune ends in fortune. This Allowing yourself to go in this new direction will bring you something fortunate. But there's fear or the fool wouldn't be here. This is taking a big, bold risk. And it's probably, it probably involves your heart with the page of cups behind it. This is risky business. Um... But there's action, action, it's action time. It's definitely action time. Act now, think later. Good luck.